Good evening, gang. Happy hump day. Yes, it's Wednesday. We're back again. And today I'm going to have a little bit of fun. So um, we were talking tonight to a group of friends on a Zoom chat that we have about people reading books. And you've probably all heard the Go to Sleep book, read by multiple people now, um, and various other books. And I had this great book called Where the Wild Mums Are. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to have some fun tonight and read you guys Where the Wild Mums Are because Sometimes I'm a wild mum, other times I'm as boring as batshit mum, and both of those are completely okay. You be the kind of mum that you want to be. So Where the Wild Mums Are is written by Katie Blackburn and Sholto Walker, okay, because every mum deserves a break. Oh, Angela, you can be my wild mum for the night. Where the Wild Mums Are, here we go. I've never read a book on a life before, this is a new thing. Oh, you can't really see it, can you? Okay, here we go. I'll come to the side. Is that better? Okay. The day mum didn't get dressed and went on strike. Oop, shivers. And I can't even turn pages because I don't have any fingernails. Let's start that again, shall we? Where the wild mums are. The day mum didn't get dressed and went on strike. Dad called her a wild thing. And mum said, cook your own dinner. And stomped off upstairs to run a bath. That evening, as mum lay in her bathtub, a paradise wove itself all around her until the entire bathroom was hung with wild fruits and the walls themselves seemed to fade and disappear. The air was full of promise and waves softly lapped the shore. Doesn't that sound so fantastic? A yacht lay on the sands and mum stepped into it and floated away across time and space until she came to the place where the wild mums are. And when the wild mums saw her, they shook their magnificent heads and wiggled their magnificent hips and stamped their magnificent feet. But mum just laughed and danced as though there were no end to her wildness and magnificence, all the while balancing a drink on her head and not spilling it. And they were dazzled and said she should be the queen of the wild mums. And mum said, I accept. Now let's get this party started. And there was never a wild magnificence like it. Oh, look at that party. They're all like dancing. <laughs> Don't you wish you could be a wild mum at the moment? But we're not going out, so we can't be. Until enough, mum cried. For the queen of the wild mums suddenly felt a little bit tired and emotional and wished she were with those she loved more than anything in the world. At that very moment, from miles away across the waters, as if by magic... Mum could tell that she was needed. So she stopped being queen of the wild mums. Oh, stay a little bit longer, the wild mums wailed. We're having such fun. Come join the conga. But mum just smiled. She stepped into her yacht and floated across time and space, back into the waters of her very own bathtub. She was home. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh. A little bit of fun, guys. Sometimes I think... When I'm doing these lives, I can get a bit serious because, you know, sometimes there's topics that I think are really serious and we should talk about. And other times I think we should just have some fun. And today felt like a fun day. So I'm not going to, I could, oh, what, what's another one I could read you guys? I'm not going to do the, go the hell to sleep. Um, but Elodie has this fabulous, fabulous book called This Little Piggy Went to Prada. And I love books that are a play on... Actually, Elodie, can you bring me that book? This little piggy went to Prada. I don't know where it is. On your bookcase. I don't know where it is. On your bookcase. Yeah, thanks. So helpful. Yeah. Um, I love it when they take something that's a, an, ori an original idea and something that we know and we love and they do a twist on it. I think, I think the people that do that satirical stuff are brilliantly clever and I think the originals are brilliantly clever as well but I often love those satirical things because it just gives us a kind of a, like a little twist or a tweak on stuff so I got this book for Elodie many many moons ago now and I've given it to lots of my friends when they've had children because I think it's again one of those things that's fabulously hysterical and some of them you know you might not do you know there's some nursery rhymes I actually don't even know? But anyway, when we do it, um, we learn them and we get them. So here we go. What was one of our favourite ones on this one? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. I can't find it. Um, it's all about Christian Louboutin and all these 
fabulous things. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, diamond ring in a blue box tied with string. Tiffany's new princess cut, twice the size of baby's butt. Twinkle, twinkle, show your spark. Can't change nappies in the dark. See, isn't that cute? Oh. Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, Mulberry. They're very, very, very clever. So I just want to encourage you. Today's about having some fun. I encourage you to go find something, whether it's on your bookcase or on a YouTube video or something someone shared online that you know, just watch it and relax and have some fun. Switch off from all that stuff that's going on. Because every time you, we're bombarded at the moment with negativity and um, there's a whole lot of fear mongering. And this is not me telling you that that stuff's not real because a lot of that stuff's really real and we really do need to pay attention. But I think for every half an hour of that high stress level drama negative stuff that we get involved in every single day I think we need to level the scales and have half an hour of fun or frivolity or personal development or something motivational something inspirational so, so we balance the scales it's so important if we get do too much of one because on the other hand, if you have too much frivolity and you're not paying attention to any of the reality going on in the world, the scales are missed there as well. You have to balance them out. So for the next 24 hours, with everything that's going on, let's just go for the next month, every time you get involved in one of those negative, fearful, stressed moments, emotions, times, counterbalance it with something fun, okay? So it could be anything. I'm watching you for this. <laughs> that totally count, totally counts as having fun, Angela. I love that you're in the spa with a drink. I wish that I was in a spa with a drink. Hang on, is there a little... Okay. This little piggy went to Prada. This little piggy went to Khan. This little piggy dined at Nobu. And this little piggy had Kassan. And this little piggy cried wee, wee, wee all the way home because she had a fat bottom. Yes. That is the rhyme. Balancing, yeah. Have you been drinking, Angela? Um, <laughs> too funny. If you do see this book, it is available on Amazon and it is brilliantly funny. It really, really, really is brilliantly funny. Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, Mulberry, Mulberry, Nappy Bagel Dilemma, Lulu Cutter, and your shopping spree by all three. There you go. Have some fun tonight, guys. Whatever you do, whether it's a TV show or music or a YouTube video or a stupid poem or what was someone telling me about today? It was, um, oh, the beaver something. Oh, my God, I've got to look it up. Hang on. Stay there. I'll be right back. Ah. Apparently, we all need to read and watch. I'll be doing it later because I haven't done it yet. Brenda's beaver needs a barber. Yes, that's going to be the fun homework that you all have for tonight is Google that and let me know your thoughts. And tell me something funny. I want to hear something funny. Go for it. Have fun. Mwah. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day.